Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about environmental biodegradation or decomposition. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So biodegradation or decomposition is a process where complex organic matters are broken down into simple inorganic substances which plants can absorb. Uh, because plants cannot absorb complex materials and if plants cannot absorb them, we also can't get them from plant. So biodegradation or decomposition is very much essential for our survival. Dead plants and animal bodies as well as fecal matter are uh, called detritus. Which are the raw materials for decomposition? Let's talk about the steps of decomposition. So there are five steps of this decomposition. First is fragmentation. Detrivores like artworm break down detritus into smaller fragments. So suppose we have a tree here. Now some leaves are falling from the tree. Then here we have the earthworm. So what it will do? It will break down these leaves into smaller fragments. So this is called fragmentation. Next step is leaching. Now water soluble inorganic substances go down into the soil and remain unavailable for the plants. So after the fragmentation process, some water soluble inorganic substances will also come out. But these substances will go down into the soil and plants actually cannot absorb them because they will be lost in this way that is called leaching. Next is catabolism. So bacteria and fungus will degrade fragments into simpler inorganic substances. So we have seen that after fragmentation process, some small fragments are generated. Now bacteria will come here. There is fungus. What they will do? They will degrade these small fragments into more simple inorganic substances. So these are more simple inorganic substances. Next process is humification. So accumulation of simple inorganic substances create a dark color amorphous substance called humus. So after catabolism process, smaller, simpler inorganic substances are generated and those simpler inorganic substances will be accumulated to form a dark color substance that is called humus and it is amorphous. Amorphous means which does not have any shape, no shape. Next process is mineralization. So some microbes degrade humus. So humus is now generated. So some microbes will act on this humus and release some minerals. Minerals like uh, carbon, it is like nitrogen, like phosphorus, like sulfur. So these are some minerals which are now released and those minerals will be easily absorbed by plants. That is called mineralization process. Now let's talk about some factors of decomposition. So first of all, oxygen is required in this decomposition process. Then warm and moist environment favor decomposition. So decomposition always requires warm environment, moist environment. In very cool environment uh, and dry environment, decomposition doesn't go well. 
and next is uh, some substances which are water soluble substances like sugar and the substances which are uh, composed of uh, nitrogen materials they actually are easily broken down so these nitrogen and water soluble substances rich detritus favor decomposition process and lignin and chitin rich detritus slow down decomposition so the substances which are rich in lignin and chitin uh, they are not very easily decomposed so they take time to get decomposed so this is all about today's lecture